What's cracking, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. So we're going to get into this reading. We're going to start off with the activation cards, and we're going to see what is being activated for you. So if anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal, I am running a special still on my readings. The information will be in the description box below. So let's get into it, you guys. All right, so we have the number 26. This talks about empowerment. So what's being activated for you right now is empowerment. Spirit is trying to support your ability to show up fully and completely. So some of you may be put in a position, maybe you're on a platform, maybe you do something in life where you have to show up every day fully and completely. What I do every day, I got to show up fully and completely. But you know, hey, we human, things happen, we feel that, you know what I'm saying? Some days we feel like in that, sometimes we don't, you know, but I feel like once you feel empowered, once you feel that energy of, of knowing your strength, then you're able to show up a little bit more fully and completely. This unites you with other people and a deep trust that you and other people are connected to the same source. Like when people see you, and I think I'm talking to myself as well, it's like whatever you're going to be doing, when people see you showing up fully and completely, and they see the struggles you go through, they see your everyday life, this allows other people to see that they too can show up fully and completely for whatever it is that they're doing, okay? We have soul time. I feel like. Some of you feel limited in a way, but I feel like spirit is wanting to let you know that like things that's coming to you, like it's indefinite, like there is no limit to the things that you can have. OK, let me look at this card right quick. Let me look at this card right quick. OK, so soul time, this talks about past, present and future. This. It's like lessons, okay? You get, get a chance to look back at where you came from, where you're going, and apply lessons to your present moment. So I feel like some of you guys are in this energy of soul time. Like there are some lessons that you've learned, and some of the things that you could be going through now is because you're supposed to be applying some type of lesson that you've already learned. Like something that you're going through now, you've already got the tools. You've already been through this in some way. But now it's time for you to use what you've been given, okay? I feel like at this time, you could be heavily connected to your spirit guides and your ancestors. Like, the energy around you is very potent. And I feel like your spirit guides and ancestors are also the ones that's fighting to help you feel more empowered. Because I feel like once you feel more empowered, then your perception about yourself, about the bigger picture is going to change, okay? I feel like right now you're being moved out of your comfort zone. Something that you're going through right now is very uncomfortable, but it's happening for a reason. A lot of things that we go through in life is very uncomfortable, but it takes us being uncomfortable to be able to make some type of necessary change, okay? I feel like someone's perceptions needs to be changed is real. Like what they see is real and what they see is not. Like someone here needs to take a hard, deep look at a situation, at themselves here, and understand like why maybe they don't feel so empowered or why things aren't happening the way that they want them to, okay? All right, so let's pull it from the Psychic Tarot. Messages from my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. If anything is resonating with you guys so far, don't forget to like this video, okay? All right, messages for Scorpio. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Let me go to the situation ship. I just I knew I had this deck out for a reason. So let me go here first. And then we'll go to the psychic tarot. Okay. Messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> what is it that my beautiful and my handful Scorpio? What do they need to know? 
messages for my Scorpio. Who does Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? Ooh, okay. So we got entertaining and insecure. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with or in a situation now where you are not the only person that someone here was dealing with. So someone could have been entertaining you, Scorpio, and they could have been entertaining other people. Scorpio, you could have been in a, in a situation. Maybe you was entertaining this person, you know, entertaining somebody else here, okay? But someone here was entertaining a lot of people. But whoever this person was, they weren't secure with themselves. So someone here, I feel like, had, they suffer from ego issues, okay? Someone had a lot of pride and they had a lot of ego, but they also were insecure with themselves. So this person dealing with multiple people, you know, being able to attract other men and women like this made this person feel really good about themselves, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with or could have dealt with in the past someone who was entertaining, dealing with multiple people, but they only did this because this is someone who was very insecure about themselves. It made this person feel you know, good. It made this person feel better about themselves. It, it stroked this person's ego, you know, to have other people, like to deal with you, but to also have somebody else on the side. You see what I'm saying? Tell us more how to feel. What does Scorpio need to know? Messages for my Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Mm. But whoever this person was, Scorpio, they were addicted to your love, okay? They're addicted to your sex like it's a drug. So someone here you was dealing with could have been, like I said, this could have been a very sexual connection that you had with someone. But this is someone who was entertaining other people. It made them feel good, you know, to have these multiple men and, and multiple women that lusted after them, they wanted them, you know, because they were insecure with themselves. But the thing about it, this person was addicted to your love like a drug here okay someone here was addicted to your sex let's get it right someone here was addicted to your sex like it was a drug let's pull a couple more messages for my scorpios i love you scorpio all right so tell us more what does scorpio need to know all right but something transformed something happened not transformed something took place between you and this person, all right, some, for some of you, this person did a lot of effed up things to you. But see, they want you to catch the case of amnesia, okay? Someone here wants you to forget. So this this gives me the energy of someone who doesn't want to take accountability for what happened in the past. They just want you to forget about this shit. Like someone here, they want to talk. You know, they want to go back to how things used to be in the past. But they don't want to take accountability. You know, they want you just to forget all this shit they did. And just act like ain't shit happened. But you like hell to the null, okay? You want just. You, for a lot of you guys, you figured out a lot of truth. You know what I'm saying? You listen to readings. You're very intuitive. Like, you know what's going on with this person. But you want justice until, for some of you, maybe you're willing to give this person another chance. Or maybe to hear them out. But not until you hear the truth. Not until this person tells you everything that happened. You know what I'm saying? Something, something transpired in order for you to have to walk away from this person. And you like, uh-uh, not until you tell me what the fuck went on. I'm not willing to hear this person out. All right, so let's pull some. So tell us about this energy, Holy Spirit, that was entertaining and that was insecure. Tell us more. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio, what do they need to know? Because we got somebody who was insecure with themselves, and this is why they was entertaining other men and other women. But they was a to CEO sex like a drug, honey. Tell us more. Damn, all the cards want to fall. Okay, so we got solitude. Okay, so Scorpio, you could be spending time to yourself. Maybe you're closing out some type of cycle. With this blue on, this gives me the energy of someone whose throat chakra is opening or someone who's learning to communicate. But someone here is studying. Someone here is learning. Here, okay, spirit, someone could be like in a spiritual school, but they're in hermit mode, okay? This is hermit mode energy. So someone could be spending time to themselves, but while they're spending this time on the, to themselves, this could be someone who's also starting to change their perception about some things, okay? You, Scorpio, taking time to just be by yourself, focus on yourself. For some of you, this is going to help close out some cycles in your life, okay? A lot of you guys have all your attention and focus has been on other people, other things. You haven't been able to put that energy back into you. For some of you, this could be this person. But someone here is like in hermit mode. They're learning, they're growing, but they're also reflecting. Some things could be being revealed to this person.
Some of you are needing to meditate. But I feel like someone here is getting some very, what's the word I'm trying to get? Some very helpful insight. Like this solitude energy is helping someone get insight more about themselves, more about their lives, more about a situation here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? Yeah, because someone here is getting ready to go through a transformation. Whoever this person is, as you can see this right here, they had on a mask. This is someone who was not able to operate, not able to be their true, authentic self. With this green on, this is someone who was also, their heart chakra was blocked. So they weren't open, they couldn't give love, and they damn sure couldn't receive it. You see what I'm saying? This is this person having to take off this mask. See, when they had on this mask, this made this person feel safe and secure within themselves. When they had on this mask, this made this person feel like they needed to entertain all these men, all these women. But see, when they take this mask off, they're going to be able to see. They're going to be able to learn. This is someone who's going to be able to transform themselves, okay? This is someone who was going to end. Remember I said something about endings. This is someone who was closing out some type of cycle so they can go through some type of transformation. And with this one plus three, that's four. This is someone who is also going to be able to provide, I feel like, more stability for themselves first. They have to learn how to be more safe and secure within themselves and work on these insecurity issues. Like someone here is very insecure with themselves. And until they go through this transformation, until they close out some type of cycles, until they open up their heart, until they learn to communicate, this is what they're going to go through. Someone here has to go through this in order to change their perception, their perception of themselves. Yeah, someone here is going through a change. This can be taking place in their personal life. This can be a relationship. This can be in business. This can be in a career. But someone here has the strength, okay? If you look closely at this card, you see she got like this necklace or something, but this is third eye. Like someone here, and they know, intuitively they know they have to go through these changes. They know they must go through this transformation here. This, this is a death of someone's old way of thinking and believing so they can move forward and have better things in life. Come on through, Spirit. Someone here is needing to accept the changes, an opportunity that will expand. Like these changes are going to help someone grow and expand their life, okay? Have a fresh start. Tie up these loose ends, okay? So this is the death card. So we got Virgo and Scorpio energy. So what I'm picking up here for some of you guys, you was dealing with someone, like I said, who was most, who was entertaining multiple people. This is someone who didn't want to take accountability. I feel like a lot of you guys, you're no longer fucking with this person, dealing with this person because you want justice. If they're not going to give you a fair outcome, if they're not going to speak their damn truth, you know what I'm saying, and, and keep it real with you, then shit, it is what it is. But I feel like a, a transformation has to go on in this connection through this person. Some of you guys, you may be going through a transformation as well. Maybe you're shedding your old ways and the ways of, of thinking and how you used to do things and you're learning new ways, okay? You're shedding those old habits and learning new ways because you've been given the tools and once you go through this transformation, Scorpio, this is going to make you feel more empowered within yourself. Other people are going to see how powerful you are as well, okay? But this is going to give you that confidence, that courage, that strength to do whatever it is that you were supposed to be doing, okay? All right, you guys. So let's see who this reading is about. We have Scorpio and we have Virgo energy. So let's see who this is reading about. If anything resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, Scorpio. So you can be dealing with Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces. All right, we got Heavy Sash, Virgo, Taurus. We also have Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, and Pisces. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.